Hello everyone, I am MS Bhagavadimo, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Engineering Department, Provini College of Engineering and Technology. Our subject code is CS 8691 and our subject title is Artificial Intelligence. In Unit 4, the topic is Architecture for Intelligent Agent. Before going to discuss about Architecture of Intelligent Agent, first we should learn about what is Agent and what is Intelligent Agent. Then what is Agent? Agent is a computer system that is situated in some environment and that is capable of autonomous action in this environment in order to achieve its dedicated objectives. Then intelligent agent or sometimes autonomous agents or agents that must operate robustly in rapidly changing unpredictable or open environments where there is a significant possibility that actions can fail. An expert system is one that is capable of solving problems or giving advice in some knowledge rich domain. Here I given one diagram. In this diagram, the points are represented as the environment of the agent and intelligent agent. Here the agent percepts the concept through sensor and actuators. Then next one is architecture of intelligent agent. The architecture for intelligent agent kind of four parts that is agent architecture uh, divided into logic based agent, reactive agent, believe desired intelligent agent, layered architecture. Then agent architecture also software architectures for decision making system that are embedded in an environment. Then first one is logic based agent. Decision about what action to perform is made via logical deduction. Reactive agent decision making is implemented in some form of direct mapping from situation to action. Then BDA agent that is decision making depends upon the manipulation of data structures representing the beliefs, desire and intention of the agent. Layered architecture decision making is realized via various software layers that is each of which is more or less explicitly reasoning about the environment at different levels of abstraction. The first one logic based architecture. This is about what action to perform is made via logical deduction. Here the diagram is given the environment uh, through sensors we should learn about how the agent is working. Then traditional approach is building artificial intelligent agents such as giving that system a symbolic representation of its environment and desired behavior. The symbolic representations are logic formers syndactic manipulation corresponds to logical deduction or therefore proofing. Then here I give one, one example. To summarize this example, our agent can uh, receive a perceptive that or null. Here we will consider a small example based on the vacuum cleaning world example. Then we have a small robotic agent that will clean a house. The robot is equipped with a sensor that will tell it whether it is over any dirt and a vacuum cleaner that can be used to suck up dirt. In addition the robot always has definite orientation north, east, west and south and the turns right 90 degree. The agent moves around the room, which is divided like into a number of equal side square. We will assume that our agent does nothing but clean. It never leaves the room. Then it can perform any one of possible actions forward, suck and turn. The robot will always move from 0 to 0, then 0 to 1, 0 to 2 and then 1 to 2, then 1 comma 1. The goal is traverse the room continuously. Searching and removing dirt. The predications are in x comma y agent is at x comma y. Then dirt x comma y there is a dirt as x comma y facing d the agent facing direction is d. Then the second one is reactive architecture that is subsumption architecture. The subsumption architecture is arguably the best known reactive architecture. There are two defining characteristics of subsumption architecture. The first one is task of completing behavior the second one is subsumption hierarchy arranged in layers that is situation to action
then third one is bde architecture that is believe desire intention architecture have their root in the philosophical tradition of understanding practical reasoning the process of deciding moment by moment which action to perform in the furtherance of our goal practical reasoning involves two important processes first one is deliberation and the second one is mean end reasoning then deliberation decide what goals we want to achieve mean end reasoning how we are going to achieve the goals the last one is layered architecture layered architecture involves creating separate subsystem as a hierarchy of interacting layers to deal with reactive and proactive behaviors horizon layer in horizon layer architecture the software layers are each directly connected to the sensory input and output then the advantage of layer architecture is simplicity then drawback is overall behavior of the agent will not be coherent then vertical layer in vertical layer architecture sensory input and action output are each dealt with by at most one layer each vertical layer is subdivided into one pass architecture and two pass architecture the main drawback of this vertical layer is designer must potentially consider all possible interaction between layers the complexity of interactions between layers is reduced by vertical architecture vertical architecture is much simpler than the horizon layer case thank you